so today we're going to Martin's Road. Uh, we've climbed there before, but this is probably my first time that I'll get to Boulder because one of our friends is bringing a crash pad. So I'm really excited about that. And then afterwards, we're going to go to Skiodo Audubon Park. And this is the part where I try to make way too many plans in one day. The Skiodo Audubon Park will be for a different video because we didn't get to it even in the slightest. After saying goodbye to Lemon and Lime are cats and watering the Reginald, it was time to hit the road. This is Sarah. She's climbing with us too. Your destination is on the left. I love that this is not crowded. There's Andrew. Not crowded, it's gonna be a good day. Let's do that. you'll be parked right next to a park and if you look off to your right there'll be a bridge you're gonna want to walk down that road towards the bridge and then cross it you'll follow the highway along until you come to a trail in the brush on your right you'll take that trail and not far along you'll reach the crag so if you walk down this way a little bit more it gets really overhung there's like this cool little cave, but then if you look above you, I think this is like 512s, but it's pretty neat. The last time we were here, we saw a guy that was just crushing the bolts right here. So last time we came here, there's this route called Silver Street, and it really freaks me out at the top. It's a 5.9 plus, so that's going to be the first route that we're trying today. Up until this point, the route is fairly simple. It's just at this chimney where things start to feel a little bit not so solid. It really puts a whole new meaning to the phrase, trust your feet. It's a really weird feeling feeling so alive and also trying not to die. Know sometimes that it doesn't make sense. You can see that this is my last clip, and if I fall, I'm going to the left. It's even harder to comprehend. I love you so much, clip. It's a scary but I clipped those chains baby I'm shaking let's go Andrew tried the route and later on in the day when another couple not in our climbing party tried it and couldn't complete it he helped them finish it out
so the downside of this crag is that I don't know you can probably hear all the highway noise it's literally like 100 feet off the highway so that's the only sucky part but it does have like some really nice climbs hey our friends are here Hi. how are you Excellent. are you excited to climb today yes. <laughs> yes. you just don't feel secure the whole way yeah you're up in it and you're like oh Nothing can happen. I'm on top of it. And you're like, I know my foot's gonna slip. I'm gonna smack my face off. Really. Yeah, it's scary. It's just really freaky at the top because it's a chimney, so there's nothing below you. So when you look down, yeah, I mean, it's just scary. Goes. John, no John, how, how's your day going? Well, I uh, ripped my pants. <laughs> Uh, my phone's dead, and uh, I'm climbing, so it's Freaking. wonderful. <laughs> wonderful. How's it going? It's sweaty. It's hot. Yeah, I'd second that. I yeah, that's that's pretty good right there. I actually ripped my pants last time I climbed too. Oh. And that's why that's why I have these pants now. Oh, wait. Yeah. You got new fancy pants. Those pants, so fancy. So Tyler has just changed my life and told hey. me that there's a pause button on my camera. You're welcome. So when there's all the sick sick edits, bro. Shout out to this In house girl. edits. And we pause, and we unpause, and we on play. <laughs> Oh wait, yeah, 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 John, as a founder of Joy Callers, I have an important question. Yeah. How do you get dead ass? <laughs> you know, some people are just born with it. Other people are just born with it. Sarah has only been outdoors one other time and climbed like five times. So she did great and even finished her first outdoor route today. John has been climbing for about one and a half years solidly. He actually works at our local climbing gym. And I thought it was really neat because he told me that one day he just decided that climbing was what he was gonna do. And he does a lot of it. So it's about three o'clock and uh, we're gonna go do some boulders here in a bit. So it's gonna be my first time bouldering outdoors, so stay tuned for that. I'm excited. Uh, we'll see if we get some sends or not. So this is my first ever outdoor boulder. I didn't really know what to expect. It was really slabby and I was having a little bit of trouble trying to figure out where exactly to place my feet. I got about three-fourths of the way up the climb and kind of got stuck. <laughs> I honestly really didn't want to fall. It felt like the ground was super far away. It wasn't. And my butt is so far off the wall right now, what am I doing? I felt like I may have gotten this move if I would have had just a little bit more strength but I didn't. The boys made this look super easy. I decided to try something a little bit easier, so I tried this V1 Traverse. Nice. There you go. I really liked climbing with these guys because they were just really encouraging, especially to someone that was a beginner like me.
Nate wanted to try this V6 and he had a little bit of trouble at first getting the dyno move. but eventually he grabbed the dino and held on. You got it. Didn't finish Come the route out, but. Come on. Come on. Come on. After a long day of climbing, it was time to head home. I was pretty happy with the day. I had set out to climb what I believe to be the best route in all of Ohio and I'd accomplished it. Plus, I'd gone to try bouldering outdoors for my first time, and I definitely want to continue doing it. Dairy Queen. Dairy Queen. Dairy Queen. <laughs> <laughs> New tradition. Pizza, then Dairy Queen. If you want to check out Marnes Road for yourself, I recommend going on Mountain Project. And thank you all so much for watching this video. Like and subscribe.